Hello everyone, I'm making this video to show you both the light and dark side endings to the Republic storyline of Jedi Under Siege. The important choice that has to be made here is deciding the fate of Darth Malora. Have a look at my 7 years later video with her if you don't recognize who she is. I'm honestly looking forward to the consequence of not killing her as I think it's possible that she becomes our companion later on, but that's not at all certain so take it with a bit of salt. And one more thing to say before we begin, there is some wonderful voice acting here for Darth Malora. There must be something, 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 somewhere, where, where? Drop your weapon, now. Oh, such a mess, always such a blasted mess with him. Where is Nostaral? What have you done to him? What? Oh, the Jedi, over there somewhere. But you're rather too late to help him, I think. Wrong answer. Let's crush this Sith and keep searching. How dare you! You speak to Darth Malora of the Dark Council, and your interruptions end now. Die and be silent, fools! Ugh, mindless beasts! Watch where you're aiming! Ugh. Fools! Ignorant fools! He's alive. Barely, but he's alive. Truly? <laughs> Lord Malgus has lost his edge. Malgus? Oh, yes. This is all his handiwork. I would never make such a mess of a library, even one belonging to a Jedi. Malgus usurped my entire operation. A veritable ballet of predatory evolution, discarded in favor of the bludgeoning fist of a toddler. That's impossible. Malgus died years ago. Apparently it didn't take. Malgus is alive, here on this planet. Though operational might be more accurate. A machine with pieces of a desiccated Sith Lord bolted into it hardly deserves to be called alive. Life is far more variable, more adaptable, capable of true change and thus true power. The Force is life, and only life can truly command its depth. Will you shut up? Malgus or not, we have to get the old man back to the colony now. Stabilize him as best you can. But if Malgus is here, taking him down has to be our first priority. No, no, we are not losing him. You realize Malgus is on his way to burn your colony to the ground, yes? He could hardly say he finished my work if he leaves it standing. That would be them now. Thirty seconds to objective, my lord. Enemy fighters, evade! Those are Republic fighters. They made it. They actually made it! Good afternoon, Commander. Before you ask, rest assured. I brought tea. It's about time, Dayrune. Do you have any idea how long we've been waiting? Longer than I ever hoped. I do apologize. Can you bring medics to our position? We have urgently wounded people here. Right away. We'll evacuate everyone to the colony. Medical and support teams are landing as we speak. Dayrune out. I'll 
Just be going, then. I don't remember saying you could leave. Taking me prisoner will waste time, and personnel that you'll need to treat the wounded, like your friend here. I'm sure I'm not worth the effort. You know something? You're absolutely right. Huh? Ah! I guess I'm really not the best person to lecture you for killing Sith Lords. Let's just get out of here. There must be something. 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 Somewhere. Where? Where? Drop your weapon. Now. Oh, such a mess. Always such a blasted mess with him. Where is Nostaral? What have you done to him? What? Oh, the Jedi. Over there somewhere. But you're rather too late to help him, I think. Wrong answer. You don't seem like you care about the Jedi at all. Why are you even here? My purpose is beyond your feeble comprehension. Leave me to my work. We're not going anywhere. Tiresome. Ignorant. <gasps> you speak to Darth Malora of the Dark Council. And your interruptions end now. You will not win. You cannot win. <laughs> fools! Ignorant fools! He's alive! Barely, but... he's alive. Truly? <laughs> Lord Malgus has lost his edge. Malgus? Oh, yes. This is all his handiwork. I would never make such a mess of a library, even one belonging to a Jedi. Malgus usurped my entire operation. A veritable ballet of predatory evolution, discarded in favor of the bludgeoning fist of a toddler. That's impossible. Malgus died years ago. Apparently it didn't take. Malgus is alive, here on this planet. Though operational might be more accurate. A machine with pieces of a desiccated Sith Lord bolted into it hardly deserves to be called alive. Life is far more variable, more adaptable, capable of true change and thus true power. The Force is life, and only life can truly command its depth. Will you shut up? Malgus or not, we have to get the old man back to the colony now. It may not be safe to move him. We should find a way to bring Doc here. You might be right, but... Plastic comms are still jammed. You realize Malgus is on his way to burn your colony to the ground, yes? He could hardly say he finished my work if he leaves it standing. That would be them now. Thirty seconds to objective, my lord. Enemy fighters, evade! Those are Republic fighters. They made it. They actually made it! Good afternoon, Commander. Before you ask, rest assured. I brought tea. I have to say, General. You know how to make an entrance. 
I have frequently considered an alternate career in the theater. <laughs> Can you bring medics to our position? We have urgently wounded people here. Right away. We'll evacuate everyone to the colony. Medical and support teams are landing as we speak. They run out. I'll just be going then. I don't remember saying you could leave. Taking me prisoner will waste time, and personnel that you'll need to treat the wounded, like your friend here. I'm sure I'm not worth the effort. I think a prisoner like you could tell us a lot of interesting things about Malgus and the Empire's plans. Ah, oh, tiresome! Thanks to the distress calls, we were able to sweep in and pick up all of the evacuation shuttles before the Empire could deploy pickup teams of their own. That's a huge relief. We can never thank you enough, General. All too happy to help. All evacuees will be transported to safety in Republic space. I know of some settlements on Tanab that could put good farmers to use, if any are interested. Are you going to keep enough troops here to fight off any Imperial reinforcements? We'll establish a forward listening post here. Secure the colony perimeter. But I can't spare more than that. We're too close to Imperial lines to risk a full garrison. Speaking of farms, I have already forwarded your data to a friend of mine. An outstanding Chatej player from the Agriculture Administration. They tell me the information from your farms is likely to revolutionize our entire logistical structure. Countless millions may be fed thanks to your efforts. I'm glad I could help. Any chance your fighters got Malgus in the attack? It's possible, but seems a bit too much to hope for. Darth Malgus back on the front lines. This is a dark day for the Republic. We caught him off guard this time. I doubt we'll be so lucky again. We beat Malgus before. We can beat him again. With your help, I believe it. Is he all right? Did he make it? Nostral's wounds were severe. Cauterized perforation of the upper ventricle, ocular damage from oxygen exposure, catastrophic muscular and nerve damage to the left forearm. Fortunately, he received treatment from the most brilliant, skilled, and <clears throat> handsome doctor in the entire galaxy, so he's gonna pull through. At least you have the skills to back up that ego. With plenty to spare, I assure you. Thank you, Doc. I mean it. That's what I do. The soldiers are still digging through some of the worst of the damage to the library. Torrell, Raina, and Z are still missing, and I can't sense them. That makes 15. I'll update again when we finish clearing the rubble. The old man was right to bring us here. We needed this time to heal. And to remember what makes us Jedi. We've hidden long enough. The evil of the Sith doesn't stop just because we aren't there to oppose them. Quite the opposite. I'm no master, and I can't speak for the Order, but I can say this. The Republic needs the help of the Jedi. So let me be the first to volunteer. I am deeply honored to accept. I'll have quarters prepared for any Jedi who wish to join you aboard my flagship. We're already packed, and I think this will end up being a much more worthy destination. Commander, thank you. Without you, this would have been a much darker day for us all. Let's stay in contact. I'd love to get to know you sometime, when we aren't fighting for our lives. I think I might like that too. May the Force be with you. When the dawn came, the Zell awakened and saw the tongs upon the high place and were afraid. For the morning light caught the glint of helms and weapons and created phantom warriors made of dazzle and distance. But the cleverest of them were not deceived. 
The Empire thought they could make this a grand first strike in their renewed war against us. They hoped to destroy the Jedi. To destroy us with fear before we ever faced them in open battle. Thanks to you, they failed. The Jedi are renewed allies of the Republic. Our people have seen that the Sith are vulnerable whenever we stand united. This war will be dark and brutal and vicious. But we will stand against that darkness together. And together, we will win.